Guy is offended I told him I have a boyfriend. A man that works in my school offered to help me with something I was struggling in since I'm in a new country alone and I don't know how some things work, plus the language barrier. I didn't seek him out, he approached me. I agreed and we met up, but the place was closed for corona restrictions and they told us to call on Monday. He insisted on getting coffee instead of just going our separate ways, he refused for me to pay for my drink, then he took me to a park to talk, said he'll do my paperwork for me, he'll call for me on Monday, and he'll go with me to sign the papers, etc. He said if I have any friends or family around I said I have my boyfriend but he's not in the country at the moment and he got quiet, I had to start another topic to get him to talk again. He then walked me home to my door, and told me before separating to call him if I feel like going out or if I want to be shown around the city. I told him I know the city well enough already and said goodbye. The next day he messaged me, I did not reply right away because I was uncomfortable. When I replied an hour later he said where were you, were you sleeping? I said no I was using my computer, he said why what were you doing? Having fun or something useful? It was creepy but I said something useful. He then asked if I'd like to go for a walk with him by the river or if I'd like to go shopping with him. I definitely don't, I only went out with him yesterday because he offered to help. I told him I have a boyfriend and I don't think it's appropriate to go out with him without an important reason. He got very offended, he sent me paragraphs saying I embarrassed him and that he helps all people not just me and that he thought I was lonely and just wanted to help me. I apologized and said I'm thankful for his help but he kept sending so much texts making it like what I did was wrong and that I offended him and just making me really uncomfortable. Did I do anything wrong? I'm really worried about having to see him at school in January. And he's supposed to call the office for me on Monday but I definitely don't want his help anymore. Sounds like he's a damn bullet you dodged. He is lying. He wants to date you but is now embarrassed. I've had men pull this exact shit with me like a dozen times. They get upset that a romantic relationship is not on the table and want to flip it around like they didn't even want one and dare you presume. You did nothing wrong. And hash x200b. He sounds like one of those, nice guys, if you know what I mean by that. Sorry you had to deal with that, especially being new to the country, not a great way to welcome someone new to the area. Definitely bring someone along if it comes down to being around him again or tell security to keep an eye on him. R. Nice guy shit. You did. Nothing wrong. He's taking it the wrong way. He was the one that asked if you had any friends or family and you answered honestly that you have a BF. He's the one that got upset. You are fine. He's overreacting but I don't think you should get his help on anything anymore. Do it yourself or ask someone else. Don't worry about being mean. Creeps need you to feel like a nice girl so they can keep pushing boundaries. You did nothing wrong. He was pretending to be nice and is now trying to pretend that he wasn't trying for more than friendship. Tell him you no longer want his help and block his number. You didn't do anything wrong. He's predatory and thought you being, foreign, meant he'd found easy bait, and now he's lashing out after you burst his fantasy. It's not a good idea to leave contacting the office up to him. You didn't do anything wrong. He's creepy and maybe dangerous. Don't meet him anymore. You didn't do anything wrong. Dude sounds like a fucking creep lmao. Can't wait one hour to reply then asks you why you didn't reply. Fuck that. A man that works in my school offered to help me. I didn't seek him out, he approached me. Unless you're an adult in college or university, you should talk to school officials about this guy. Everything you describe this guy doing is very suspicious and crosses all sorts of professional and ethical boundaries. Do not let your guard down around this guy and do not remain in contact with him and do not be alone with him. This doesn't happen often to me but as soon as I read that he asked to go walking by a river, after he already took you to the park, my instincts started screaming that he wants to be alone with you. Please try not to be alone with this person. He sounds little dangerous, report him might be a predator, especially with the questions he is asking you. You didn't do anything wrong. It sounds like he's the one behaving in an inappropriate and boundaryless way. There is helping someone and then there is forcing them to spend time with you. He's a less crass version of the guay that cat calls you and when you don't respond curses at you. He wanted to date you but you said no. He's saving face. Don't communicate with him unless necessary. If he causes more problems your school should have an anti-harassment process. 
Let me tell you about nice guys carrot tm. Tell him to fuck off. You told him you have a boyfriend location flag location flag location flag location flag. He is a predator. Run away. He has a fragile ego and you should let him be alone with it. Ignore messages. If he speaks to you at school, gosh ya yeah, been so busy. See ya. And you did not block him because? I apologized. Why? He's an R. Nice guys. You dodged a bullet. No, you've done nothing wrong. You don't owe anyone anything, that includes your attention. Don't feel obligated to respond, especially if you're uncomfortable. Don't worry about being polite, this guy is stranger. If he got offended by the fact that you have a boyfriend, his intentions are obvious. Alert security if he continues to be a problem. I think you should keep the text messages and report him to your institution. You're probably not the first or the last person he'll try this with, and the school definitely doesn't want a teacher trying to get with students. You did nothing wrong. He's embarrassed and trying to save face by making it look like you misinterpreted his help as romantic advances, which they were. Some dudes just can't handle rejection. Sounds like he's one of them. Our nice guys is what this sounds like. He can be offended. Being offended doesn't change reality. It doesn't require you to do anything and the best part of someone being offended is you don't have to give a fuck. Who cares if he's offended? He thought helping you could get him closer to you so he could take his shot, and his shot was denied because you're in a relationship. Fuck him. Him being offended is his problem, not yours. By the way, this is a lesson for a lot of people, not just this situation. Do not be so concerned with people who are offended. Most of the time it's a problem with them, not you. Being offended doesn't give anyone special treatment. Neither of you did anything wrong at first. Some people are just nice like that and want to offer company. Something you don't see often these days. It's sad he fucked it up at the end with whining. You did the right thing. You're very respectful and very mature and I hope not only that you're proud of yourself, but your man too. You know how to read situations and took his help but didn't meet with him outside of those reasons. Intelligent finesse of a woman haha. But all honesty he doesn't sound innocent and he isn't IDC. Why did you apologize? You should have told him to fuck off. Fuck this guy. He is so creepy. You did nothing wrong. Don't be ashamed to contact school authorities if he keeps stalking you in January. Insecure weirdo. You owe him nothing. You met a nice guy in the wild. Honestly, you could post this in our nice guys and have a good laugh. Hopefully the country that you're in is not super sexist and had human rights for women. I suggest you avoid him by any means necessary. You did nothing wrong. There were warning signs that he wanted to f c k you but fortunately he's just a creepy little goblin you can block and ignore. Sounds like a nice guy. If he keeps contacting you tell him that you don't think it's appropriate to continue communicating and that you won't be responding to any more texts. If he gets angry or threatening, contact the university and campus police and let them know what is going on. I literally laughed at reading the title of this post. He is ridiculous and you did nothing wrong. You could totally post your texts on art nice guys and get hella up votes. You sound very young and inexperienced. Fact is there are many desperate people out there with poor social skills. Everyone here will give you advice saying how these people are wrong and they did bad and they need to change. But the truth is there will always be these people in the world. Always. So you need to learn how to deal with them in a way that gets you the best outcome with the least amount of effect on your own life. It is up to you to adapt. Ask a beautiful older woman how she handles men like that. Cause trust me she has the experience. Don't ask random people here because they will give you shit answers. If he is offended, that is his problem, not yours and do not feel guilty. Just be careful and do not walk alone anywhere. Always trust your gut instinct and be careful. He is creepy. You did nothing wrong. Op, if he ever approaches you at school, please make it very clear that you feel very uncomfortable around him and tell him you no longer want anything to do w him and walk away. Dot. Then, please, go straight to the administration and tell them what happened and how you feel you're being stalked. If you have to, get a restraining order after you talk to the administration. No you didn't do anything wrong he wanted to keep getting closer and if he has all that time to go to the mall AMD etc he could go do it with the other people and props for you for realizing this. Block him. 
You could have saved yourself some turmoil by setting barriers when he tried to pay for your drink. I should pay for it. Only my boyfriend pays for me and he's not here. Thanks for offering though. Hey a just a creep. I would avoid him. You did nothing wrong. Do not accept help from this guy. Sounds manipulative. Send a message back. Take your rejection like a man. I'm embarrassed for you at this freak out. Jesus, I wish guys were more creative. I got the same message when I told a date I didn't want to have a second one. You seemed lonely and I thought I could help. You did nothing wrong. You have done nothing wrong. He is a creep. Don't respond to any of his messages anymore. Was this in Korea or Japan? Sounds awfully familiar to many experiences I've heard there. Nope nope nope. The second someone starts getting creepy is the exact moment you don't have to be polite anymore or feel bad about hurting anyone's feelings. It was his fault for assuming you were single and for strong arming you into spending time with him and letting him buy you coffee. These are things men will do in order to make you feel like you have to give them something in return because look at everything they've done for you. This guy is trash and trash doesn't have feelings. Keep listening to your instincts. Op, what's the age difference here?